Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. like a fluffy cloud, isn't it? Oh, sweet. Oh, honey, should we let them in the bed? Hmm. Victoria's already here. Don't you think one is enough? But look how sad they are. Fine. All aboard! <laughs> A little to the left, Washington. Uh, that's my arm, Sam. You can't sleep in my shirt, Eugenie. Okay. Come on. Good night. I was here first. Does that mean anything these days? Now, Vic, there's plenty of room. Just bend at the right angle and don't breathe. Too much. My tail isn't a sleep mask, Sam. It works good. Go roll in some mud. I had a dream that I was falling. Oh, I guess it wasn't a dream. That's okay. I often dream I'm flying. Good morning, sunshine. Oh. Oh, wait, honey. I'm going to prepare you another coffee. Is Mr. L okay? Hmm. The last time I saw him acting this weird was when Mrs. L told him her mother was coming to visit. Uh, hey, I must leave for work now. Bye, dear. I'm <laughs> leaving for something. Hey, did the door shrink? Huh, that can't be good. Where does he go every day? The park, silly. Bye-bye, honey. Have a nice day. Oh. Oh. From now on, only one pet is allowed to sleep in the bed. Okay, honey. We'll try it your way. Only one pet in the... <laughs> First one there wins. <laughs> yes! I win! Fair and square. I win! Looks a lot less scary in that big bed. I'm sure Vic will understand. It's a thunderstorm. Uh, I don't think so. I think she'll be really. <laughs> Just. Uh, that's it. Everybody down. Look at them. They're freaking. <laughs> bunch of fake furs. about a rude awakening. limits, but 
I've got an all-you-can-eat buffet just waiting for you. A bunch of mice? No, good stuff. <laughs> Furry pets. I want to get them thrown off my human's <laughs> bed. Uh, deal. Spot stealers, I'll show you. <laughs> She forgot we're protected by a shield of fake fur. Almost like superheroes. We're under attack! Uh, is it an intruder with itching powder? No, it's even worse! Please! All right, you flea bags. There's no way I'm gonna let you ruin my night ever again. First, a great big dip in the flea bath. Blows them off, darling. There you go, Sam. Go and get dry now. Oh, it's bath time for Bunny. All righty, dear, your turn. You can say goodbye to your parasites, Eugenie. Now go dry off with Sam. And now for the leader of the pack. A good spring cleaning to get rid of these invaders. The most infested of them all. There you go, Washington. Susie. Uh, amazing. She's going all by herself. Sorry, guys. You'll have to stay in there all day until the flea dip takes effect. Relax and dry off. I hope we're all less itchy tonight. Yeah, get comfy, guys. I'll be inside on the bed some more. By myself. <laughs> you may have won this round, Victoria, but just wait. As soon as we dry off and get released, you are toast, lady. Toast? Toast? If you mean warm and dry and loved by all, yes, I am. Ha! See ya. Are they dry yet? Mr. and Mrs. L will be getting home. <gasps> code red! We got a code red! Everything all... Uh -huh. Meow? Did I just... Oh. Never mind. I haven't been getting enough sleep lately. Come on out, guys. This isn't working. I can't see a thing. Come on. Ooh. Give them one more chance. No, honey. They're just too dirty. Let's face it. Victoria is the only one who grooms herself on a regular basis. <gasps> <laughs> A lady always keeps her boudoir clean. Meow. <laughs> Wait! I have an idea. <laughs> this will never work. It doesn't stink enough. If only someone around you had a stinky litter box. Sam, what have you been eating? Anything. Now, we just need to make it look like it came from Victoria's box. Ooh, she's tracked cat litter all over the bed. Get out of here! What a crazy... <laughs> oh well, might as well join them. It's a little chilly in here. I'm gonna give you a blanket so you don't get cold. Gotta find some nice cool mud to sleep in. Good idea. Fly that boar flag. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Washington, wake up! 
What, Sam? I was having a dream. <laughs> huh? Huh? Shh! I know. Shh. Uh, just need some water. Hey, guys. That was close. What a beautiful night. Let's sleep on the chairs. <laughs> That's enough. Win some, lose some. Come on, Dick. There's plenty of room here. I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Get ready! He's almost uh, here! You're asking for trouble. Stupid male! Stupid sunshine! Come to Papa. <laughs> here! Arf, 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 arf. <laughs> <laughs> Very funny, dog. You got a real weird bark, you know that? Hey, dog! Here's something to make some noise about! It's a letter from the vet! Ha <laughs> ha! Wait! Did he say letter from the vet? Yep, it's a letter from the vet, all right. See? That's his necklace. And a letter from the vet is never good. <laughs> Yeah. Or maybe he just figured out who we are! Yeah. Huh? No! no. Oh. Uh. Cool! From my collection! What did you do that for? What if they were expecting that letter? They'll blame the mailman. The post office never makes a mistake. Everybody knows that. Who oh, knew it was us? I mean you! Huh? <laughs> Calm down, everybody, because I got it all worked out. See? This is a good thing. You heard me. A good thing. We replace the letter in Sam's stomach with a brand new one. A better one. A letter that will say whatever we want. <coughs> we'll pretend it's from the vet, and we'll say that we're in perfect health and that he never needs to see us again. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> I'm all for no more vet visits, but how are you going to write a letter? How are you going to write, period? Hmm. Vic, I think you're forgetting I'm a super slick fox. I mean, if I can manage this, I can figure out how to write. Yeah, how hard can writing be? Go for it. But so you know, it's got to be on the vet's special paper. The one that has his little necklace on it. Uh-oh! Really? Yep. Otherwise, they'll know it's a fake. No biggie. Where do we get some? In his office. Uh -huh. <laughs> Great! Point the way. It's at the corner, by the coffee shop. Got it! Sam, you're coming with me. Me? To the vet? I don't want to run into the vet. Like I do, but someone ate the letter. I 
you guys should all go. Safety in numbers, right? Well, I guess you're right. Let's go. Ah, that little adventure should take all day. Ah. Now what? How do we get in? We came all the way and we can't even get into the building. Wait. I think I see a solution to our problem. Quick, act normal. <laughs> I said normal, like animal pets. <laughs> Come on, on Modi. It'll be fine. You don't need all those teeth anymore. <laughs> We each have to pick one human to walk inside with. And don't forget what you have to do once you're there. Let's go! <laughs> you. Hello, Moldy. Uh, come in and let's replace those disgusting old teeth of yours. Look at my dog, John. All new teeth. No pain. He looks like a puppy again. You're a big kitty. Look at that big nose of yours. <laughs> and your teeth, they stick out. Weird. Where on earth am I going to find this? Look, big kitty. This is my hamster, Oscar. Oscar, say hi to big kitty. Hello. Ah! Oh, Oscar, he always faints. <laughs> Mio! Mio! <laughs> Here we have our top model. These would make old Moldy look like a movie star. Now think about it. I'll grab the forms for you to sign. <laughs> Come on, I'm not gonna hurt you. I'm gonna make you look good and young again. Hi there, nice little rabbit. What's going on? What's all the noise back there? Why is he barking? Oh, Oscar. Vet papers and vet envelopes must be worth a fortune, so he would hide them. I must think like a vet. Where would I, a vet, hide them? Nurse, that bone wasn't enough. I need some pills to calm him. They're in your office, Doctor. Oh, yes, of course. I almost forgot. Yeah. 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 On here. That's all for a cat. This cat needs to have these two teeth out as soon as possible. They're probably infected. That fur, it's so wet and sticky. Whose pet is this? Who brought a sick animal in here? <sighs> of course! In my vet desk! to be sedated right now.
But stop moving like that! Yeah. Oh! Huh? What was that? Baldy! <laughs> and wait again! My office! My shelter from the patients! <laughs> Hello, the Living Stones. All your wonderful pets are in perfect health. And I, their vet, do not need to see them ever again. Yay, Washington! Thank you, thank you. What can I say? I'm a natural. Can we add and give them plenty of snacks? Easy. And give them plenty of snacks. Mm -hmm. Goodbye. Signed, the vet. What's the letter about, honey? I... Uh... <laughs> I'm not really sure. See for yourself. What on earth? This handwriting is terrible, even for a doctor. <laughs> okay, so I need to practice. I'm gonna call the vet to see what's going on. Whoa, look! <laughs> Cheap trick, Bush! And of course, we appreciate you taking the time to write, Doctor, but perhaps you could tell me what you wrote? Oh, yes, the letter. I ran into the mailman last week. He told me that Washington has a rather strange bark. Oh, dear! Maybe we should bring him in. Why don't you? I'm offering 50% off all diagnoses all by the uh, uh, Oh! <laughs> Finally, a perfect morning. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Listen, ladies, if you're not staying hydrated and getting a solid 20 hours of sleep a day, you're going to show your age. Yes, Susie? Are we old? Oh, yes, good question. No, not yet you will one day. You want to put that off as long as possible. Why? Because, my dear naive Susie, nobody wants an old pet. Nobody. <laughs> Good morning, ladies. Oh, Sam, help me out here. Ah, thanks, buddy. Sure. Oh, I had the most amazing dream. I was rolling around in a mud pit the size of a pond. It was amazing. Oh, <laughs> tell us more. Ah! 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 What is that? Are you dying? Is this part of your face? Oh, relax. It's just a little avocado rinse to keep our coats youthful and shiny. Ah! Oh. Mm, tasty. No, oh, I don't need that stuff. I get all my energy from a good night of howling at the moon. <laughs> <laughs> You need it more than any one of us, Wash. You're like what? A billion years old? Wait, what? What, what? Look, all I know is you're super duper old. <laughs> what do you mean, super duper old? Let's look at the numbers. Tell me, how old are you? I'm, I think maybe, well, I have no idea. We don't really do birthdays in the woods. It doesn't matter anyway, because whatever age you think you are, you're actually seven times that age. I'm guessing you're somewhere around 35, or maybe even 40, so very old. 
That most certainly does not sound about right. I'm as spry as they come. If you use the word spry, then you're definitely getting up there. But just to double check. Mm -hmm. What? What is it? What do you see? Not much, just... Ah! A gray hair. Mm -hmm. That means you're almost dead. A gray hair? But that's just like... This old silver fox I used to feed. <laughs> Thanks, Sonny! Whatever. I still got it. Sure you do, Wash. Just like that old silver fox had it. Wait, so you're saying that when you get old, you lay around and people bring you food? Sign me up! Well, yes, but that wasn't my point. Oldness is really nothing to get excited about. Treat time, my furry friends! Come and get oh. it! <sighs> we splurged and got gingery ginger snaps for hours! <laughs> gingery ginger snaps? Ow! Gosh, are you okay? For the ten billionth time, I'm fine! Stop treating me like your grandpa! Here, lean on me! No! Everyone leave me alone! <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, Wash. Let me help you up. How about one more treat, old boy? Life is short, right? Want me to chew it for you first? I'm not old! I'm gonna show you! Watch out, girls! Watch and learn! When I was a cub, our idea of going for a walk was a 20-mile journey uphill both ways. I told you, I'm not playing house until we have someone to play the grandpa. When I was a kid, our idea of playing house was eating rocks. If we wanted a grandpa... We... Hey, wait! <laughs> we can get Washington to play the part. Actually, he can play our great-great-grandpa who is back from the dead. I can't look. It's just a sea of gray in here. What? Is everything all right? Huh? Speak up. We're worried about you. I know you all once thought of me as your spirited leader, but it's becoming clear that my aging body is letting you down. Maybe I'm no longer fit to be in this role. Maybe it's time for me to accept my elderly status and all that comes with it. But Wash, you're not elderly. When I was a cub, there was an old silver fox who lived in our den. I used to have to chew... You've told us this story! Really? About a hundred times. Well, that proves it. It's time for me to retire and go back to the woods. But we can't stay here without you, Wash. Yeah, you're our leader. You'll freeze out there. This is what old animals do. We return to nature. I'd like to thank you all for coming to the Stop Washington from Leaving meeting. First on the agenda, how do we stop Washington from leaving? Oh, that's what's happening? I'm out of here. Wash can figure this out on his own. He's a big boy. I mean, an old boy. Well, we're off to a great start. But let's stay focused. How do we get Wash to stay? Let's tie him up! He's so stubborn, we need to go and hide and pin him down! Uh, okay. Any other suggestions? Oh, no? oh, I got it! Lock him in a closet forever? This is going to be harder than I thought. What if we set up an easy, really, really easy obstacle course for him? Then he wins it, and he thinks he's still a young pup, and he doesn't leave, and we all live happily ever after. That's actually a really good idea. Thanks. Oh, we could use spoons for hurdles. Yeah. No, we need the tire ones. Get the decorative teaspoon. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
Good for you, kids. You got a new play set now that the old man's on his way out. Life's for the living. No, Wash, this is for you. Huh? If you can make it to the end of this agility course, that means you're in the prime of your life. And you won't have to go back to the woods. Huh? Hmm, of course. If I don't make it to the end, I'll have no choice but to return to nature. Of course. Only respectable thing. And go! want to go to the woods, having someone chew your food for you is no life at all. Start the stopwatch. They weren't even real rocks. Good try, everyone. Victoria, lead my friends well. Oops. I'm a little competitive. Wash, I'm so sorry. You're not an old man. And those balloons, I mean, rocks, I mean, I have really sharp claws. I could pop a rock. It's okay, Victoria. You don't have to pretend. I'm an old guy. It's time for me to say goodbye. <gasps> don't follow me. Let me go with dignity. <laughs> I guess this is as good as it's gonna be from now on. Surprise! <laughs> Happy birthday, Wash! For however old you are. You guys came all the way out here to give this to me? You didn't really make it that far. Well, I was a bit tired, you know. Uh, but tell me, how did you know it was my birthday? We don't celebrate those back in the woods. We didn't have a clue. We just decided to celebrate the first day of your new life. You maybe want to blow out your candles? Candles, right? That's what you do when you celebrate a birthday. You okay, Wash? He's more than okay. Your gray hair is gone. You look like a brand new cub again. Well, you look at that. I guess my days aren't numbered after all. Does that mean you'll come back home with us? Only if I can get more of those gingery ginger snaps. Yay! You don't need that thing. Oh, yeah. Oh, watch it! Oops, sorry. It's okay, Grandma. I'll give you a hand. Grandma? I'm not a grandma. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Everything's gotta be perfect tonight. I think the new boss is finally starting to notice me. Just the other day, he almost said my name correctly. That's great, honey. But then, he tried to high-five me. And I missed. <laughs> well, it happens to everyone. Not really. But tonight, I have a second chance, and I'm not gonna screw it up. Honey, relax. Just enjoy the party. Don't stress. <laughs> 
Now, you boys have to be on your best behavior tonight. My new boss, Mr. Gooper, is coming tonight. Yes, he is. We wouldn't want him to think we've got wild animals running loose. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Yuck! Guests make you do cute things. And they try to pet you, and worst of all, they talk baby talk! I'm out of here. I think guests sound like fun! here. Don't you feel silly? <laughs> Come in. Oh, wait. What's the secret password? Oh, <laughs> he's just kidding. Come in. Make yourself at home. How about some punch? Do you have any food? What happened to us back there? We went completely wild. I don't know. All of a sudden, I just felt like shaking. Me. Yeah, I couldn't hold back. I was in a wild groove. Hey, Talon, are you wrecked? and their music. Keep it together. You heard what Mr. L said. No, oh, oh, I know. Now you, you boys have, have to be on your best behavior tonight. tonight. My new boss, Mr. Goober, Goober is coming tonight. tonight. We, we wouldn't want, want him, him to think, think we've got, got wild animals, animals running loose. You guys, whatever you do, do not give in to that great music. If we do, it would be bad for Mr. L, but mostly, really, really bad for us. No. <laughs> Don't give in. Our secret life as domestic pets depends on it. Got it? Yes. Don't give in. 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 No. Sam, Susie, Eugenie, Washington, our guests are here. Here, pets! Come on! Come on! We've got to get back in there like nice, normal pets! We can do this! Hey! 
come in. You're not Mr. Goober, but welcome. Let me take your coat. This is stressing me out. Me too. If that music comes back, we're toast. Did you know our hearing is ten times better than a human's? You. I think I feel worse now. <sighs> Sorry. Oh, girls, we're gonna need music for this. just as soon as Mr. Goober gets here. Anyone hear from him? No? See? And this one here is just a big cuddle ball. All he wants is to be loved. Uh, who wants some more punch? Do you have any food? Keep quiet, dude. I'll come back soon. Oh, Sam! I was comfortable in there! <sighs> come on, you awesome music. You think you can take me down? I don't think so. <laughs> Mr. Goober is really late. The guests are getting hungry. Okay, I guess he's not coming. Maybe he didn't like the little smiley face I put on the email invite. Honey, relax. Why don't you show the guests some of Washington's amazing tricks? <clears throat> hey. hey, guys, want to see a cool trick my dog can do? What? Okay, boy, show everyone how you can balance a doggy treat for a whole minute. <laughs> Okay, boy. Steady now. Steady. You blasted music. You made me drop the dog treat. You ruined my best trick. Arf, 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 arf. I can't take it anymore. I've got to stop that music. Washington! Bad dog! Bad dog! What's gotten into you? Washington! What's happening in here? Uh, uh, sorry, you know how dogs are. Uh, they like to chase after cars and... Uh, Mr. Goober? Mr. Liverstone, I've been driving around in circles trying to find your house. I'm so glad you found me. It's Livingstone. Uh, never mind. It was actually my dog, Washington, who found you. Wow, what a smart dog you have, Mr. Livingstone. Very impressive. Oh, who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? I guess I was too wrapped up in the new Daft Prodigy Brothers album to focus on where I was going. Did you know they use sound samples only wild animals can hear? Ah! I can't help but want to go wild whenever I hear it. Uh, I haven't heard it yet. What? No! Come on! That 
Excellent party, Livingstone! Glad you could make it! <laughs> Give me five, Livingstone! <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Really be a cat. Oh, come on, that doesn't look like a cat at all. Hmm. You guys, <laughs> look, look what I just found sitting in the kitchen. I've seen these on the TV box, and this one's brand new. I love it, I love it, I love it. Anyone know what it is? Hmm, easy there. <laughs> Hello, people, it's a cell phone. This should be good. It goes ring, ring, and you answer it like this. <laughs> Must have been a wrong number. <laughs> there, squeaky clean. Which is more than can be said for Washington. Look at him. <laughs> Someone needs a B A T A. <laughs> oh? uh, booth? We should give the dog a booth? What would he do with a booth? A B A T A. Mm hmm? Mm -hmm. Ah! Hear that? I'm getting a B A T H. What is it? I have no idea. Well, time for a nap now. A B A T H is, of course, a mechanical belly scratching device. Um... Here she is, the B A T H three thousand. <gasps> Get that a good doggy, good doggy. Or maybe it's a designer snack. Yeah. Would Sir like ketchup on his B-A-T-H? Actually, I think it's a car. A dog car. <sighs> you mangy fake mutt, B-A-T-H spells bath. A bath? With water and soap and medicated conditioner? <laughs> I'll be there with you, Washington. Cats don't get bathed, Ding Dong. They lick themselves clean. Mmm, yum, tasty. Sam, don't you get it? If the living stones bathe me, they'll discover I'm a fox and that you're a big fat boar. <laughs> then it's back to the wild for us. No warmth, no shelter, <gasps> no cable! <laughs> <laughs> what are we gonna do? Hey, I'm trying to sleep over here. Kindly take this meeting of the minds outside. TV mm -hmm. time! This is a nightmare. Do you need to get your meat machine squeaky clean? Yes! Well, then we'll on down to Ed's Mega Wash now! We're, We're coming, coming in! in. <laughs> <laughs> Victoria, watch Eugenie and Susie. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, right. My next nap starts <sighs> now. TV's a better babysitter than me, anyway. Seen it! Seen it! Seen it! Seen it! Victoria, we're bored. Mm. Bored! Bored! <gasps> bored! Bored! Quiet! Hmm? Mm -hmm. Who wants to play an awesome game? Huh? This has to work. I don't want to go back to the forest. <sighs> <sighs> <laughs> Yay! You're 
not squeaky clean yet, mister. Uh. <laughs> hey, no rush. I'm coming, buddy. It's simple. The first one to blink is the loser. Okay, hmm. we got it. Hmm, well played, Victoria. <gasps> Close huh? your eyes! Loser, loser, loser! I'm not playing. I'm asleep. Just because you lost, you're pretending to be asleep. Come on, don't be a sore loser. Hmm, okay. Who'd like to go to the movies? Me, 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 me. That was worse than a hundred booster shots. Sam, I have to stay clean because I could not survive another bath. <laughs> <laughs> it won't be easy. <laughs> but I know I can do it. <laughs> it's a matter of life and death. <laughs> I can only rely on myself. <laughs> like everybody knows, Sam, you're born alone, you die alone. <laughs> Sam, are you going to eat that in front of me? I'm starving here. I'm trying to stay clean, and eating is a dirty, dirty business. Ditch it, Sam. Ditch it for me. Woo! I'm lost. What's happening? The pair of trousers went swimming and got caught in a whirlpool. <gasps> oh, crazy bubble monsters! If you get hungry, call for pizza. Ah, <sighs> nap time. I just show my clean self to the living stones and it's bye-bye <laughs> bath time. <gasps> Dessert. Delicious, delicious. Dessert. Washington, no! Eating is a dirty, dirty business. I know, I know, but I'm hungry. And I can <laughs> smell it. Sweet dessert. Have mercy. <clears throat> Curse you, Belly, for leading me astray. No, save you, Washington. <laughs> uh <-huh. sighs> <laughs> I'm okay. I'm still squeaky clean. To wash Washington. I'll help you on one condition. You guarantee me 12 hours uninterrupted sleep. <laughs> Deal! Sorry, kids, intermission! <laughs> Whoa! These glasses really work. <laughs> Washington! <gasps> in here, and it smells chickeny. <laughs> Where is that dirty dog? I can't breathe. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. I can't find him, honey. Come on, let's stretch this back into shape. <laughs> oh boy, I need somewhere more sanitary to hide. Surprise for you in the bathroom! <gasps> okay, that's enough. <laughs> now, where's Washington? <laughs> Washington! Oh no! He said he was roasting in there! It's okay, I know mouth to mouth. <gasps> uh, Sam, that's a chicken. 
I wondered where that went. Then where's Washington? Washington? I think she's in the bathroom. Yeah. Washington? He started without us. Got a good dog. Let's rinse off those bubbles. It's okay, Washington. This will be over in a minute. You've got to do something quick. Open one. <laughs> Oh, we get the mouth! Uh -huh. <laughs> Hang on a minute. All that foam smells mighty minty. Toothpaste isn't cat food, silly. <laughs> <laughs> Washington rinsed all by himself. He's squeaky clean. This photo's gonna look great in the pet gallery. We'll put it right next to Victoria's first hairball. <sighs> what a nightmare. I have taken my first and last bath. I thought foxes were supposed to be smart. Around here, dogs get a bath once a week. Oh, yeah. What? No! 12 hours uninterrupted rest. Guaranteed. <sighs> Washington, <laughs> it's a call for you! Stay away! <laughs> Take a message, I'm not home! Yes, you are! Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Hey, anybody smell something stinky? All I can smell is the heat. Hmm, you mean like a rotten cauliflower? Yeah, just like that. I smell it now, but I think it's a pile of dirty, wet socks. Mm -hmm. You're both wrong. It's Sam. Come on, Vic. That's a low blow. Of course it's not. <laughs> Sam. Hey, Washington. Trying to drink this milk, but it's kind of chunky. It's your smell, Sam. It's curdled the milk. Oh, well, it is a hot day. And bats are very boring. Sam, when was the last time you had one? Yes, let's see. One, two... What month is it? What? No wonder you smell. Yeah, I smell great. Unique. <laughs> you don't smell great, you smell gross. Can't you smell your stink? No, oh, that is the, uh, uh, skunk. I know you're not blaming me for that stench, yo, but you want some of my stink, just say so. Uh, we're fine. You're very scary, though. Impressive. Well, the skunk's gone, but the stink is not. Love me? Love my smell! This is gonna be a long summer. Would you like a bacon sandwich, dear, or bacon between two pieces of bread? I think I'd prefer a piece of bacon with bread on each side. <laughs> <laughs> What's that smell, honey? It's certainly not bacon. It smells almost boarish. Like a wild boar, don't you think? Yes, it's just like wild boar. But how could that be? <gasps> Hear that? The elves are about to discover our secret, thanks to Sam's stink. They won't smell it if we secretly stick branches up their nostrils. True, but I think they might notice branches up their nostrils. Well, until we find the source, we just need... Air, air freshener. freshener! 
and we need some pore freshener. Good luck finding that at the store. If you'll excuse me, I need to go breathe. We may not be able to buy boar freshener, but we can make a super crazy smell to disguise Sam's stink. We'll start with bacon grease. Ha ha! Who can resist that? Add some musky aftershave. A little garlic. A dash of toothpaste. A slice of shag carpet. No! A roll of toilet paper. No! A trumpet. Fine. Oh, good. I love the smell of music. The moment of truth. <laughs> Ooh, that is beyond my wildest expectations. <laughs> Oh, so you like my smell now, huh? I knew you'd learn to love my natural aroma. Everyone does. Right. That's exactly it. I love your natural wild boar smell. Huh? What is that? It's... it's... It's my natural smell. Leave me alone if you don't like it. But... but I love it. I... Where could it have come from? <laughs> oh, Sam, it's not you, is it? He smells... He smells... So delightful! delightful. <laughs> have a snack, you charming devil. And you can take our bed tonight. We'll sleep in the garden. Coast is clear. A bacon raid can commence. Hello, ladies. Move it, Scarlet Bunch. Before we. <laughs> Kiss you from head to toe. You look all tense. Let me massage these knots. You're so cool. Yes, I know. Oh, oh, no. Hurry up. We have to go to his place right now. Come on. <sighs> Sam stink is sorted out and I can finally chillax. Sam is in the building, Dance! Oh, ah, yeah! Eugenie, Susie, what's wrong with you? They love me and my awesome smell. Oh, no! My super crazy boar freshener, it's too powerful! Here, girls, it's me. It's Scratch and Sniff. <laughs> I need to talk to you. And I need to talk to you, Washington. Listen, I decided to ditch the disguise. What? What are you saying? The elves will know you're a boar. Big deal. They love the boar smell, they'll love the boar. <laughs> Sam, what everyone loves isn't your smell. They love this. You're just jealous of my natural... That stuff does smell good. It's aftershave and bacon grease with a few secret spices. We mixed it up, didn't we, girls? Ah! But I thought it was me that everyone liked. <gasps> Sam, what are you doing? That stuff's powerful. Ah! <laughs> Come back to our place, Sam. You can stay forever. <laughs> it's time for our wedding dance, Dreamboat. <laughs> <laughs> Smelling so incredible is a lot of pressure. <laughs> Phew. That's better. A bit of peace and quiet. It's that fat cat that yeah. smells so good. Good Whoa, kitty! Get it, get it, get it. Kitty. Kitty. Whoa. Whoa. Hey, get oh. over! Good kitty! No, no! 
The whole city loves me much too much! Please, Washington, stop me from smelling so sweet! I'll do anything! Even a boring bath? I'm ready. Bathe me. That ought to do it. You sure? Okay. Maybe you need a dry clean. That ought to do it. You sure? Oh! Ah! I'm never gonna get this stuff off me. I'll be hunted forever. There must be a way. Okay, we got rid of your stick by overpowering it with something stronger. Hurry up, Washington! I can't feel my eyes! So we're going to need to overpower that with something even stronger! Super stronger! There's nothing stronger than this delicious aroma! There's one possible thing, but it won't be pretty! Who cares about pretty? Okay. I'll always love him. Love who? I don't remember. There she is. Does she see us? Just wait. Is that smell you? You like that? Uh-huh. That is sweet. <laughs> I like your smell, too. Very funny. He's serious. You splash his back, we'll splash yours. Now you're just messing with me. No, no, we... Yeah, we are. You're a stinky, stinky skunk. Why, you lousy... Gross. <laughs> Thanks. You are one weird cat. Just in case you're not messing. So how do I smell? <laughs> Tomatoes, the best cure for skunk stink. Sorry, Sam. Sorry? I love a good tomato bath. So, from now on, you can call me Sam Marinera. <laughs> <laughs>